people, financial struggles can be kind of a way of life, but financial expert Donna Skill Seigen, author of the book Joy of Financial Security, says that does not have to be the case. She's created a three-month plan to take control of your money situation and become happier while you're doing it. Please welcome Donna Skill Seigen. It's good to see you again. Thanks. It's great to be here. Um, you know, this is, a, this is really interesting because you, you ask us to dig deeply mm -hmm. into our own feelings about money and about other things. Mm -hmm. They say money can't buy happiness, but you have to have a certain amount of money just to live and, mm -hmm. and to survive. So what do you think the relationship is between money and happiness? Well, I agree with you. Money does not buy happiness. Um, we all know a lot of people who are very wealthy and very unhappy. It doesn't guarantee happiness, but it most definitely impacts our happiness. And so it's important that we manage it wisely and spend it wisely, and then it can have a big impact on our happiness. So how should we think about money, and why does it cause us such an emotional struggle. I mean, it's primary reason for people getting divorced. It's the primary thing that people argue over. Why is it so freighted? Well, it has a lot of power in our society. There's no doubt about that. And then we also have this pressure to try to keep up with the Joneses. And so if we don't um, make really deliberate attempts to manage our finances, then it's real easy to have credit card debt and be overspending and have too many materialistic items in our lives. And so I think the key is to not neglect our finances, but really make some deliberate changes. Closing our eyes doesn't help. Right. Working away does not help. Right. So let's talk about, you know, just in this case, a three-month plan mm -hmm. to pull things back together again. So month one, let's talk about some of the elements of that. Get a financial strategy and determine your net worth. So tell me a little bit about how we go about that. Well, I found that most people don't know what their net worth is. It's just kind of a foreign concept. And so it's a very simple form to list all of your assets and then subtract your debts. And another word for that is liabilities. And the bottom line is your net worth. And that's a really important starting point to take control of your finances. And so Someone needs to do that in month one, and it can only take maybe an hour, maybe mm -hmm. less than that. And then they know what their net worth is, and then they can start to grow that. And you need to know that so you can kind of figure out a path to retirement and a path to stability, right? Definitely. So a happiness strategy while you're doing this. Maybe you do your net worth and you go, wow, that's not very big. <laughs> and you want to figure out how to, how to cope with that. Uh -huh. What do you do? Well, number one is to strengthen your relationships with friends and family. So the psychology research always has this as the number one way to become happier. And we know that if we're um, real introverted, like I tend to be very introverted, and so I'm happy staying alone for an entire weekend, and that is not healthy. We know that those relationships with our friends and our family are key to our happiness. And so... We need to make an effort to call that friend we haven't seen in three months and plan to go to lunch. We need to make an effort to see our kids if they're you know, across the country. All of those are actually an important way to spend money and to become happier. And so putting those two together can be a really successful strategy. Okay, mm -hmm. there are other things that go into this, but let's move to month two. This is when you start developing a strategy, and part of that is learning to save if you haven't already right. and making that an automatic. Why is that so crucial? Well, it's crucial because we tend to live our lives on autopilot. And we're so busy, you know, it's just automatic that we would do that. But this gets back to making a deliberate um, change. And saving is very, very important. And so just like if someone has a 401k through their work, they, the, the money is swept out of their paycheck. They don't even see it and they don't miss it. You need to do the same thing with um, other money in other ways. So if someone doesn't have an emergency fund, that's got to be number one, to save six months in case there is a true emergency. But once they've got that, they could be saving in a Roth IRA and make it automatic. It can be $20 a month. It doesn't have to be a large number. Then they realize that this is working really well. I'm seeing my account grow and they raise it to $50 a month and $100 a month. And so getting it to be automatic so that you don't have to wait till the end of the month and hope there's money there is so important. Okay, so get ahead of it. And you say during that same time we should have a happiness strategy. So mm -hmm. we're investing financially but we're also investing mm -hmm. emotionally. Mm -hmm. And the number two strategy in my opinion is gratitude. So we need to focus on gratitude and all the many blessings things we have in our lives. Um, and there's so many ways to do this. You can do it with a gratitude journal. Just pick up a blank book or a notebook and start writing down what you're grateful for, and it will change your attitude drastically. You can also do it 
while you're brushing your teeth. You know, that's already a part of our routine two or three times a day. Think about what you're grateful for. If you have a cup of coffee in the morning, that can be a great time. I have some clients who told me that after I gave them a blank book and an article on gratitude, they started a gratitude practice and what they do is every night before they go to bed, they tell each other one thing that they're grateful for. And they told me they've been doing this now for 10 years and it had a huge impact on their relationship. It's kind of a way to reboot your, your brain. Well, we know that roughly 40% of our happiness is within our control and we control it by our behaviors, our uh, choices and our attitude. Mm -hmm. And so we really can improve our attitudes significantly by focusing on gratitude. And if we improve our attitudes, then presumably we can better handle the part that we can't change mm -hmm. or can't control. Mm -hmm. And then month three, we try to roll this all up and get a, a, a single strategy to go forward and to simplify so that this is more a normal automatic part of our lives. How do we go about it? Well, simplify, it definitely addresses both. So in one sense, simplifying our finances. Some people tend to have accounts scattered everywhere, different companies, lots of bank accounts, and so I encourage them to simplify that, consolidate it. And then in terms of our lives, it's just huge. We tend to have so many materialistic things and clutter. And it's been shown that all of this clutter, you know, we open the closet door and things start to fall out. All of that clutter, it's more than just clutter. It's actually a lot of stress and it impacts our psyche. And so simplifying our lives, mm -hmm. whether it's clearing all of that out and purging and sending it off to charity where someone else can use all that clothing that we don't need, or whether it's looking at our to-do list and simplifying our to-do list and finding some blocks of time maybe in our schedule where we can spend more time with our kids or we can take a hot bath or we can read a book and all of those kind of get uh, incorporated into Simplify and, and they have a huge impact. Well, I like the way you work in your book from the inside out and that these are things that help us, you know, help ourselves because mm -hmm. it's not going to fix itself. We have to get in there and do it. Right. Thank you so much. Please visit our website for more information about Donna's three-month plan to take control of your money and be happy and we'll link you to her book as well. When we come back, we visit the popular Sip, Saver and Sale cruise on Holland America Lines. Come aboard right after this.